Kolor, Kolor, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Tawab, Awakwa, Akim, Akwaf, Kolor, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, all praise and glory and honor is to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, and Shalom, Lobakarium, Shor, Yasharala. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And shalom to the whole elect out there and the elect lady with your children. All right, this is only for the house of mourning and most importantly for the house of faith. All right, those that truly are sincere, those that truly believe in the testimony of Yahweh Shai, which is the spirit of prophecy. All right, <clears throat> what I want to touch on this morning you know, to the spirit of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, is how we are supposed to conduct ourselves, man. All right, as Paul said, we're supposed to be walking in the spirit. All right, the scripture speaks about walking in the spirit so we won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. And there's a battle going on, you know, as all, often we always go into. All right, go to Romans chapter 7. Paul speaks about the good things we want to do, but the flesh... And he does the bad things. In other words, short terms, we try to do the right, but there's always the flesh, all right? And that's the ongoing battle, all right? The ongoing battle that we're walking in the spirit, but the flesh is always fighting. There's a battle going on. <clears throat> but as our forefather, all right, the prophet Enoch, but yeah, he was a prophet based on the book of Jude, all right? Our forefather Enoch walked, it says he walked with the Most High, man. He was there. He was in the spirit, all right? And we're going to go a little bit into that word walk because what it means is he was walking in the righteous ways, all right? Going back to his forefather Adam, he was the seventh from Adam, all right? And Adam, the Lord said that he breathed into him, all right? And he became a living soul, breath, all right? Rakah, the spirit, all right? And that same spirit went down to all the sons of God, all right? Every one of them, all right, through the spirit. And it came upon Enoch. Enoch was a righteous man. <laughs> and he walked with the Lord through the spirit. Now, I want to go into this real quick. Let's go to... Um First, I want to go to Galatians, <clears throat> so I can bear with me. Galatians 5, as you can see, the fruit of the spirit and the works of the flesh. So let's go to Genesis 5, start at verse 16. Then I say then, walk ye in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the, lust, for the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. That's the battle. Every, every one of us are going through this battle. It's a spiritual battle. And these are contrary to one, the one to the another, meaning they are opposite. All right? So that ye cannot do the things that ye would, but if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Meaning the law is still here, but when you walk in the Spirit, you're not going to commit adultery. You're not going to steal. You're not going to fornicate. You're not going to look at another man's wife, right? You're not going to teach false doctrine, all right? <clears throat> now, the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, ad adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lavishness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, sedition, heresies, envyings, envyings. Murders, drunkenness, reviling, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I, I have also told you in the time past, that they which do such things should not inherit the kingdom of God. So, very important. It is a battle that we're going through, brothers and sisters. All right? But let's go back into Enoch, because he walked with the Most High. Genesis 5 and 20. All right? And now when you go to the previous, um, um, when you go to Genesis 5, I think it is. Let me see. Let me go down to 4 real quick. 
All right. The previous chapter here, you got the seed of Seth. And we know the story, you know, the, the wicked Cain slew his brother Abel. And the Lord blessed Adam and Eve with another son called Seth, meaning trans. Uh, no, that was Abel, Salakia. Seth. And I think Seth, let's so think it means uh, recompense or something like that. No, not recompense. Um, let's go into that. Compensation. Yes, that's what it means. Compensation. In other words, he blessed and compensated Adam and Eve with Seth. All right. And we see here in verse four, before we get to five, which speaks about Enoch. Right. Verse 26. And to Seth, to him also, there was born a son and he called his name Enos. Then began men to call upon the name of the Lord Yahweh. Because these were the sons of God, Seth lineage. So when you go to Genesis 5, it goes into the descendants of Adam, all right? Going into Enos and, you know, all the way down to Enoch and Methuselah, his son. So Enoch walked with the Most High Yahweh, and he was not, for the Most High took him, fetched him, translated him. In other words, he was beamed up into a chariot, all right? Because he was a righteous man in front of the eyes of the Lord. All right? So let's go into this word, walked. <clears throat> it is the uh, Hebrew word, hayalak. Strong's H, 1980. Halach. <clears throat> Halach. And the form and as you can see, just below ahead. that. Yalach. Yalach. All right, to go, to walk, to come, to come, to depart, to proceed. But here it goes. Manner of life. Manner of life. Each one of us, we are called the sons of God. If you're under the banner of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, you have to learn how to conduct yourself. All right? We have been given proper instructions on how to behave ourselves as sons of God here in this wicked world and also as examples to others all right there's it's a manner of life all right you have to show your light to the world scripture said Matthew 5 you are the light of the world all right but a manner of life all right now I want to go down to this let's go down to the uh Jesenius Hebrew Chaldean lexicon, all right? And I think it's down a little further, bear with me. All right, let's go. Bear with me. I'm gonna find it to walk, to live, to follow, as we saw already, the man of life right there. All right, all right, to go forward. Let me find it, bear with me, brothers, all right? All right, to fall upon. All right, I know it's around here somewhere. That's why sometimes you got to study. You got to keep looking, man, because it's there. You know, you do your research and um, you'll find things. The Lord will find, the Lord will show you something, man. But it comes with studying this, man. All right, it comes with research and comes with, you got to take your time. Sometimes you got to take your time. All right. <clears throat> Let's bear with me, bear with me. I know I read it last night. Well, I had a manner of life. Here we go. Here we go. So like, you see? Got to have patience, man. Right here. When you go into Exodus 10 and 9, also to take with one to bring, Hosea 5 and 6. Compare for another sense, right here, to go with, so like, to go with, right here. See? to have intercourse with, all right? To have intercourse with. Now, is this talking about the physical intercourse, sexually? No, spiritually, all right? Intercourse, all right? All right? A course is somewhat of a path. Enter is to go into that path. Now, when you're having physical sexual intercourse, you're actually, you know, putting your rod into a woman, into, you know, that's a different. But this is a spiritual intercourse. 
And this is what Enoch did. He walked the righteous ways. He was on the righteous path. As David said, thy law, thy commandment is a light to my feet. All right. So he had intercourse with. All right. He was he was uh, uh, spiritually having intercourse with the Lord. He supped with the Lord. He walked with the Lord. All right. His righteous ways, man. Now let's go into something. Proverbs 5. All right. Proverbs 5. 8 and 19. Call all y'all about Shemir. It's the book of Proverbs 5. And let me see, make sure I'm in the right path here. Let's go 8 and 19. Let thy fountain be blessed and rejoice with the wife of thy youth. Let her be as the loving hind and pleasant roe. Let her breast satisfy thee at all times and be thou ravished. Always with her love. All right? And this is talking about wisdom. We go to Revelation 5 to the to the uh um to the top. It goes into these two women, different philosophies. But we go into 18. What did it say? Let's go to 9. That and with thou, my son, be ravished with a strain of Salakia. Let her breast satisfy thee at all times, and be thou ravished always with her love. Meaning you're going to have a spiritual intercourse with wisdom. All right? Because wisdom bringeth what? Eternal life. All right? That's why verse 20 goes, in, and, and why will thou, my son, be ravished with a strange woman and embrace the bosom of a stranger? These different philosophies, different religions, all right? We have, to, we have to go walk far away from a strange woman, all right? This woman is talking about Sophia, wisdom, this truth. Be ravished with her. Be intricate. That's what Enoch did. He was ravished by the wisdom of the Lord. He was walking in the righteous ways of the Lord, man, all right? This is why it goes back to Genesis 5, to have intercourse with. That's what Enoch did. All right? That's why when you go into, so like it, let's go into, uh, let me get my next scripture is Ecclesiastes 9. <clears throat> you know, I'm at work, so I got to try to get these. Here we go. Let thy garments be always white. And let thy head lack no ointment. All right? You have to constantly be saturated in this truth. That's why we got to constantly work. That's why we constantly got to study. That's why we constantly got to meditate. That's why we constantly got to pray. Because the battle is serious, brothers. This is a spiritual battle. This is very serious, man. Verse 9. Live joyfully with the, with the wife whom thou lovest all the days of the life of thy vanity, which he had given thee under the sun, all the days of thy vanity. For that is thy portion in this life, and in thy labor, which thou takest under the sun. All right? And that is speaking about wisdom. The Lord has given us that wife under the sun. All right? Our days here, you know, the Lord has given us a portion of wisdom but it's you to plant and water wisdom and in order for it to grow and grow in the knowledge. Walk with God spiritually. Have intercourse. We're going to keep going back to have intercourse. Matter of fact, let's go to, uh, you know, I know they're going to give you, you know, a couple of uh, definitions. Intercourse meaning, all right? Communications are dealing between individuals or groups, all right? Everyday social intercourse, see? And that's what happened with Enoch and Yahabah Shem Yahushua. The Heavenly Father stayed in communication with Enoch. How do you stay in communication with Enoch, man? By continuing to stay in the doctrine, by conducting yourself in a righteous manner, by having intercourse, Intercourse with the Lord, walking with the Lord, communication, dealings between or groups, 
In this case, the Lord was supping with Enoch. He, you know, he walked with the Most High. All right. He was having intercourse with Yahabah Shem Yahushat, man. All right. He was communicating with Yahabah Shem Yahushat. All right. Through the Urim and Thummim, before even the Urim and Thummim was even invented. All right. The Urim and Thummim was there. It was the spiritual connection. All right. It was, it was, it was uh, the heavens coming down, meeting down onto the earth. A portal, a spiritual portal. That that power and the Holy Spirit came upon Enoch, man. All right, but as time as time as time went by, you know, men started getting wicked, and this is why you needed a tabernacle. You just you needed Moses to come into the scene, you know, uh, give you the uh, the commandments in stone. There were laws being issued. We were given laws on how to behave, what to eat, what not to. Because men started going off, they cut off that communication line from Yahabah Shem Yahushai. But Enoch communicated, he intercourse, he walked with Yahabah Shem Yahushai, man. All right? Let's go into some uh, relations, similar relations. All right? Let's go into Miriam Webster. All right? As you can see, communion. See? Communion, feelings, thoughts, all right? Connection or dealings between persons or groups, all right? Commerce, dealings, relation, interaction, all right? And that's what was going on with uh, Enoch, man. He was communicating. He had relationships with the Lord. He walked with him, even though there's not too much, uh, 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 you know, information on Enoch. But we know, based on the precepts and the little that we have, that he was a big impact. It's a big story going on. And now, that time will come where the Lord is going to reveal that to us. We'll wait for that in the kingdom. Because, hey, there's stories that were taken out of here. Remember, the Lord told John not to write certain things, all right, to hide. Even he told Ezra the same thing, or I think he told Moses, matter of fact. Let's go there to the spirit. Second, as I know I'm all over the place. I'm just trying to make a point. Bear with me. Walk with walk, <laughs> walk with me, brothers. <laughs> Second, as is 14. All right. And it came to pass upon the third day. I sat under an oak and behold, there came a voice out of a bush over against me and said, Ezra, Ezra. And I say, here I am, Lord. And I stood upon my feet and said, he unto me, the book. In the bush, I did manifestly reveal myself unto my Yeshua, Moses, and talked with him when my people served in Egypt. And I sent and led my people out of Egypt and brought him up to the mount of where I held him by me a long season, 40 days, 40 nights. Right? These words should thou declare, Salakim, verse uh, 5. And I told him many wondrous things. And this is the story. You know, Moses was communicating the same way. Enoch walked with the Most High Yahweh. Moses was communicating on a heavenly level in the mount. On top of that mount, man. With Yahweh Hashem Shai, the Lord showed him the beginning, the creation. Everything, man, that we read now in the first five books. And look what he said, and showed him the secrets of the times and the end and commanded him saying, these words should thou declare and these should thou hide. See? So there's things that were shown to Moses and he couldn't write them down, man. All right. So there's things that we don't have. We don't have the book of Jasher. We don't have, if there's a book of Enoch, you know, history. Well, we'll have that in the kingdom. The Lord is perfect in all his ways, man. And this is how he wanted the story to be told. All right. So let's go back to uh, Enoch having intercourse, walk with God in his righteous ways. Let's get one more, Revelation 3 and 4, because scripture speaks about walking with the Lord. Matter of fact, let's go to Isaiah. 
just thought about a scripture. And I'm going to make this quick through the Spirit. Isaiah 30 and 20. And though the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai, give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner any more. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers. And that's what we were able to be blessed by Yahweh Shem Shai with this precious gift, this understanding by watching our apostles, our elders. Being out in the highways and byways, man. You know, we were able to see them out there in public. All right? Because they were commanded to go out there. And that's as well as us. That's why we out there in the spirit. Verse 21. And thy ears shall hear a word. Listen to this. Behind thee saying, this is the way. Walk ye in it. And that's what, and that's what Enoch did. He walked with God. And that same spirit told each and one of us, Abba Ratzah, Yahweh Ratzah. You know, if we're part of that number, that same spirit from the heavens came down upon us even to this day and told us, walk ye in it. When you turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. See? That's that. And we all are walking. Even to this day, as Enoch walked with the Most High, Yahabah Shem Yahushah. All right? Enoch walked with Yahabah Shem Yahushah, man. You know, he, in, he had intercourse, communications, relations with Yahabah Shem Yahushah. All right? When Yahushah supped with John and Paul, all right, what did he do? He revealed to them, all right, intimate blissful secrets into them man let's go there let's go there real quick matter of fact let's go there real quick so like bear with me uh where we at where we at where we at that's uh revelation three i think and 20 all right let's go there behold no let me see uh behold i stand at the door and knock if any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. All right? I will come in. Let's go into this word sup. And as some brothers know, sup right here. All right? Let's go into the uh, Strong's. Sup. Supper. All right? Matches, but biblical I, like I come out of fact. Let's get it in here. Bear with me, brothers. I'm going to finish this soon. 320. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice, remember that's that voice, right? That's that voice. That's that voice, Isaiah 30, right? And thy ears shall hear a word behind thee saying, This is the way, walk ye in it. That's that voice. And open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. Okay? So now let's go into that word sup. Strong's G, 1172. Dipneo. Dipneo. All right, to take, to dine. To principal or evening a meal, and this truth is is symbolic as a meal, you know, the bread of life, Yahweh Shai, all right, pomegranate, sweet wine, all right, honey, you know. Now we go into the Thayer's Greek lexicon where it says, "I will make him, I will make him to share in my most intimate." And blissful intercourse. See? Enoch walk with the most high. All right? Jesenius lexicon, we went down. What did it say? To have intercourse. All right? So when Yahabashim Yahweh was up with John and Paul and all the prophets down to Enoch, 
he was what? Communicating spiritually. We, 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 we now have the Urim and Thummim brothers. We now have that spiritual tabernacle. We, we, have, we have now entered into the holy holies, man. Spiritually, man. This is why we fear the Lord. Do you not think that Aaron, when he had to enter into the holies of holies, he did not fear? Yes. He feared the Lord. Because if you wasn't clean and your mind wasn't right and you didn't do the proper uh, 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 daily minstrels for the temple, the tabernacle, you, the Lord will put you out. The Lord killed Aaron's sons just for burning the wrong incense, man. You see? So this thing is very serious. All right. So we what? Now we've been given that access, brothers. We've been given access into that enclosed garden. We've been given that uh, spiritual communication landline from the landline into the spiritual world. And we're communicating with the Most High now. We're walking with him, brothers. That's why the angels are around us, man. Can you imagine if the Lord was able to show you and open your eyes like he showed uh, Elisha's servant and he saw those numerous chariots around them? We'll, we'll, we'll probably lose our minds somewhat. That's why the, the, the Father can only sup with us in certain levels because we're still in his flesh. There's a spiritual battle beyond this physical realm. The angels are walking with us. They're in the car with us. They're flying above us. They're at home. And even the demons in the left-hand side. You know, we always bring up that movie Constantine, me and the Ark. That, that movie Constantine was, was heavy, was very spiritual. So those are the secrets. And as we continue to walk, in this path, having intercourse with Yahweh Shem Yahweh communicating with him, we will make it, man. Abba Ratiza, Yahweh Ratiza, call her Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh We got to continue walking in the spirit, brothers. Even though it gets hard, because we're going to need it. We're about to enter into a very bad, dark time. Nothing like ever before. And this communication, this line, this spiritual landline through the, from the from the spirit from the earth up to the spiritual world, from the spiritual world down to us into the earth, is going to guide us in those dark times and Jacob's trouble. And that's why we're going to be stable, as the scripture said. Knowledge is wisdom, so be the stability of thy times. So we walked, continue walking in the spirit, continue to. Walk in this path. Yahweh, Yahweh, Abba, Ratzah, Lord willing, you are edified in the spirit. Call the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. All praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Hashem, Rakakudash. Shalom, Lubakarium, Shaw, Yasharala. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who were well. And Shalom to the whole elect out there and the elect lady. La Atha Shalakyanaya Malapanya Wabakak Vadashka La Atha Kwak Mamanya Baba Kasha Baba Kasha Natalaya Hakasayam Shada Wada Shama Yasharala Yahawa Alahaya Nawa Yahawa Akha Shama Yasharala Yahawa Alahaya Nawa Yahawa Akha Shama Yasharala Yahawa Alahaya Nawa Yahawa Kut Aman. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who well. And again, Shalom to the old elect out there and the elect lady and your children. Lord wills. You know, the Lord put the spirit on me to do another lesson. Abba Ratzazah. Shalom.